as many other companies are pulling back into the office, you know, return to office three days a week, we're, we're very committed to a remote environment. It gives us a lot of scale. I can hire talent anywhere. It gives our employees a lot more flexibility to integrate their, their personal lives and their work lives in a way that's meaningful for them that I think uh, is very attractive. And I think as more and more companies pull people back into the office, we become an even more attractive destination because we're still remote. And so you have to be mindful that you're hiring people with a very high uh, sense of drive and an, an internal sense of drive. We just want to hire people with great discipline, great drive and passion so that they don't need an office to, you know, stay focused and work hard. That I think is really important and, and will be a differentiator for us into the future. And if that's you, hit me up uh, if you're listening. And in terms of culture, so culture, I have a lot of opinions on culture, so we can, I'll try to stay succinct here. But I think culture is actually less important than values and employee experience. Like culture is a thing that gets thrown around. It's like, is it fun? It's, it's like a here. It's like a shorthand for like, is it fun to be at that company? And that's why people are like, oh, culture's better in person. Yeah, because it is more fun probably to be in person. You get to pal around and there's like ping pong tables and you can catch up over lunch. Like that's that is more fun. But I think what it's important for me is, you know, what actually produces business results? Well, that is, you know, high engagement, productivity, high employee retention and what you need for those things is not actually a fun environment. Yeah, you sacrifice personal relationships being remote. It's harder to build like friendships if you're just on a screen. I fully admit that. You'll never really be able to replace that remote versus in person. But if you go back to the research I really like, which is this Gallup research called the Q12, the things that are most highly tied to employee engagement and engagement leading to productivity and, and high retention rates are all things we can readily deliver in a remote environment. Do people trust their manager and the leadership in the business? Do they feel attached to the vision? And do they care about, do they care about that mission? Are they equipped with the tools they need to succeed? Are they getting continuous growth and development? Do they feel like they have career opportunities? Uh, there's sort of a list of 12 things and none of, only one of them, uh, one of the criteria, I have a best friend at work, Everything else you can deliver just as well remotely as you can in person, other than best friend at work. I will readily give that one to the in-person crowd. And so we just we just go hard at all of those things. We try to deliver it at, in a world-class manner. So development road plan, roadmaps for every reps, tons of training and coaching, lots of internal promotions. Like we're really committed to promoting from within so people have that have that career progression uh, opportunity for, for them. Um, I I'm hyper transparent, like the same monthly update that I write to my executive team as to like my assessment of the business. I publish that entire thing to my sales team, to the whole company. Then I do an AMA where people can ask me any single question they want. I don't sugarcoat anything. It's like, those are the types of things that build engagement remote or in person that I think people don't do enough of. And is that culture? Not really. I think it's more employee experience and values. And so like we did an employee net promoter score recently, and it was like 87 on my team. Like, you know, people will tell you that it's impossible, that, that that's impossible in a remote, but it's not. And people, you know, you just have to do the work. You have to, it's hard work, like hard work to deliver that stuff. You have to be disciplined and write tons of documentation. And, uh, but it works for us and, and I think it'll continue to be a competitive advantage.